Weather to start the holiday weekend. Thunderstorms swept across the Mid-South early this evening. We saw strong winds that blew down trees and knocked power out for thousands. In fact, thousands are still without power. Tonight we have team coverage. We get to Yasser Kisk in just a few moments with our first check of the weekend weather forecast. First, Fox 13's Amisha Ramsey joins us live from Earl, Arkansas. That's just 20 minutes east of when. Amisha, heavy rain, heavy rain, wind. It all left a mess behind for those folks to start cleaning up at daylight. It did, Merle. I can tell you that we've been all over the place in Arkansas, from West Arkansas to East Arkansas. I want to show you some of the most significant damage that we've seen here in West Arkansas, here in Crittenden County. That a roof from an old school was blown over. We're in the parking lot, and this is what you're seeing right now. The roof is just on the ground. It nearly hit a building right next to it. This structure is another school. You can see some damage to the gutter. Now, before we came here to Earl, we were in Wynn, and when we arrived there, we saw people just stepping out of their homes, uh, beginning to assess the damage in the streets. Now, where we saw there, these are some clips earlier. Where we saw emergency management crews working swiftly to clear the streets and neighborhood roads where downed trees and branches blocked off drivers. Electric crews responded to several down power lines and worked to restore power. Now, Energy Arkansas reported nearly 5,000 power outages in wind in three surrounding cities. A man told me while he was parked, he was driving through the storm when he ran into a power line. With my windshield wipers on all the way, and I could just barely see the glimpse of something. And I saw a power lines, and and I kind of I actually hit it. But, you know, luckily nothing happened and there's no damage to anything at all. Another resident says compared to some of his neighbors who had uprooted trees in their yards, he only had to clear a few branches. It's going to be inconvenient, but uh, I would imagine we're not going to have power back until sometime in the morning. There's a lot of damage in town. Minor, but a lot of it. I was also told a local grocery store there named Hayes had air conditioned units that were blown off by strong winds. They can say it can take nearly through the weekend in order to repair that damage. Now here back in Earl, let's take a look at this um, roof again. Um, it is in the parking lot. And again, this looks like most of the damage that we've seen here has been very, very significant. Now, coming up at 10 o'clock, we will give you more details about the old Earl High School and what this building means to the people here in that community. And that's coming up at 10. Reporting live in Crittenden County, Misha Ramsey, Fox 13 News.